produce as um, to measure once we will be in Jupiter very faint magnetic fields from the giant and from the moons. Therefore, it has on board a set of magnetometers which are extremely sensitive. And for that, we have to make sure that the spacecraft is extremely clean magnetically wise. These sensors are actually mounted on a deployable boom, a very long boom, it's 10 meters long. So they will be as far as possible from the spacecraft body so that they will measure the environment. They will not measure the disturbances from the spacecraft. So we have to also to measure what exactly is radiating to make sure that these disturbances do not interfere with the measurements of the sensors. This is our facility for measuring the magnetic emissions in time domain, so the changing magnetic fields of all the units which will be built into JUICE. We have several sensors arranged around the unit we want to measure and then we capture the time profiles of the magnetic emissions and the requirements are such that the cutting edge scientific instruments integrated on JUICE are not disturbed by the spacecraft and the emissions should be even lower and this in the clean environment of free space and the question is how do we verify this on Earth. And in order to do this with uh, off-the-shelf equipment we uh, use a trick which is the extrapolation. So we measure much closer to the units and then we can extrapolate and even uh, verify these harsh requirements. We were very lucky that Right after developing this new facility, um, Choose was the first customer in order to apply these methods. In August, we made a test in, uh, in the clean room in, uh, in Airbus in Toulouse, uh, where a set of uh, different types of magnetometers, they were flux gate magnetometers and also surge coil magnetometers to work them at different frequencies. Uh, set around the spacecraft to capture all the possible disturbances while the spacecraft was working. So you can see here that there are seven masts placed at specific distances around the spacecraft and then uh, behind there is an acquisition system and then we do a lot of post-processing to reconstruct the field which is radiated at different frequencies in AC. Uh, there were also some uh, sensors from uh, the scientific teams, the, sen the scientists involved in the, in the mission, that they are the responsible of these magnetometers, and they were placed also their uh, magnetometers at different uh, positions uh, along the direction where the, this deployable boom will be opened, and also in another position where there are items which are likely to emit you know, uh, a certain level of disturbances to see if everything was fine. So we did this test in August and it was actually a first. It was really a first because this type of test at a spacecraft level had never been uh, executed before. It was done at unit level. So in uh, both Adestec and also in Airbus Friedrichshafen, most of the uh, units of, of the spacecraft has been tested and measured with you know, a scaled down system, actually with the same uh, magnetometers with same sensors but on a smaller scale and it was the first time that we could extend this system to a larger scale at system level scale so we were actually anxious to to see that would work or not and it was was fantastic because it really worked extremely well our uh, measurements could also be cross correlated with the measurement from the scientists who were performing the same measurements with their own sensors and, uh, and what we discovered as well is that the spacecraft is extremely magnetically clean. So when we will be in flight, we are quite confident that the uh, sensor will be able to measure exactly what it comes from the environment and not what it comes uh, from the disturbances of the spacecraft. It was uh, one week of very hard work. It was uh, really, really intense but we worked so well all together like a single team that we had really beautiful results. Really, it was really amazing. It was mind blowing. My background, I'm an electromagnetic engineer. So yeah, that's what I was doing and I was doing testing. So I've been doing testing all my early life. <laughs> I'm back to, to do testing and uh, integration and working in labs. And you know, in the clean room, I, I feel like at home. <laughs>